Hey guys, Ryan Wright over here. I can't believe I'm going to say this. <laughs> I say a lot of things on this channel, but I know religion's a very touchy subject. Fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. I've gotten one too many requests to check out this video. Here we go. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, it's true. God's Lupa. <laughs> All my life, I've been good. Do what my mom and dad and God say I should. Go to church and Bible school to live by God's rules. So whatever people tell me that the Bible tells me, I will do. <laughs> Walk the halls of high school with my purity ring Unlike those other girls, I got my morals in check It was easy to do till I got a boyfriend And pardon my French, but he's cute as heck But I made a pact to keep my hymen intact And Jesus and I are tight <laughs> About the birds and bees I was taught to keep as as no. my knees Cause the Bible says premarital sex is wrong But Jason says that guys can't wait that long I don't want to lose him to someone who'll do him. I need to figure something out. Well, there's a loophole in the scripture that works <laughs> well, so I can get him off without going to hell. It's my Hail Mary, full of grace. In Jesus' name, we go to fifth base. Well, thank you for making me holy. And thank you for giving me holes to choose from. And since I'm not a godless whore, they'll have to come in the back door. Therefore, fuck me in the ass, cause I love Jesus. The good Lord would want it that way. Give me that sweet sensation of a throbbing rationalization. It's just between you and me. Cause everyone knows it's the sex that God can't see. It's hard to be as pure as me. To resist the urge to lose my vaginal virginity. To wait until my marriage bed. <coughs> Shove it in my ass, fuck me until you come. Oops, I mean, let's join our souls and unite our bodies and fly with the wings of God. <sighs> so offensive. Whatever you do, don't touch my clitoris. If you ring Satan's doorbell, God can't ignore this. And no prophylactics when you put it in. Because birth controls for sluts and it's a sin. I've emptied my bowels and laid out the towels. I'm ready for moment. <laughs> Now I'm praying to the power that's the highest But of all of my polls, this one's the driest And we can't procreate if we anally copulate And God's okay with sodomy, but only if you're straight And I'm staying pure no matter what So I'm okay with everything but Everything but Everything but <laughs> Whoa, fuck me in the ass cause I love Jesus The good Lord would want it that way of a rock hard rationalization it's just between you and me because everyone knows it's the sex that god can't see i do whatever the bible tells me oh my god the it's still going choose to ignore because they're unrealistic and inconvenient but the rest i live by for sure so let's not talk about how the good book bans shellfish polyester and divorce and how it condones slavery and killing gays because those parts don't count, of course. Let's cherry pick the part about losing my cherry and mine up for ambiguities and omissions to circumvent any real sacrifice but still feel biased in my arbitrary parented positions. And don't you dare question my convictions and don't look closely at the contradictions. Just focus on the sacrificial crucifixion and have faith in its complete jurisdiction. <laughs> I just got the sentence. <laughs> and fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. If the Lord would want it that way. And that sweet sensation of an irrational rationalization. It's just between you and me. Because everyone knows it's the sex that God can't see. Yeah, my chastity belt has locks. But sometimes you need to think. Outside the box. (laughs) 
I once posted a video on this channel that I took down because it was pissing off way too many people called Jesus and the Easter Bunny. It was the story of Jesus and the Easter Bunny's origins and how they actually connect. That was a straight up fictional tale. I know there's gonna be people in the comment box who are like, it's not that bad, I don't get what the big deal is. I don't give a shit what you say. That's some of the most offensive shit I've seen in a long time. <laughs> oh man, it's kind of inspiring. <laughs> You can't really argue with what they're saying. Like, I grew up Catholic for most of my life. I, I can say I was primarily Catholic, and I knew the religion in and out, and seeing this video, I'm like, yeah, no, they, there's actually some good points that they're making, and I love how it's making fun of these people, you know? There are some attacks that are just like on the Bible pretty much, but it's mainly attacking those people who are like, I can get away with anal sex because it's not in my pussy and I can't get pregnant from it. I'll have you know that anal sex, it's so much easier to get an infection that way and you could damage a nerve where you have internal bleeding. But it's so worth it if you ever do it, it's so awesome. One thing I really love are female comedians who are willing to go all out. And these two women, I love their level of commitment to the escalation of how worse it got to the point where they're getting plugged in the ass and they're still singing. I really admire them and respect them for just going all out like that. And same thing with the lyrics of the song. It's like, you can't help it. It's very fucking offensive, but it's kind of catchy at the same time. Anyway, guys, thank you for telling me that was out. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where it's so much fun on there, you know, reading what we write, pictures we post. It's really about getting likes and favorites and retweets, you know? It's more about that than anything else. We like attention. Finding Molly. Finding Molly recently follow us on Instagram. I usually, like 98% of the time, will take the shout outs from the facebook.com slash real reject shout out page. But Finding Molly saw she follows on Instagram, says she loves the channel, and I saw her photos. She lives in England, so I can say this. She's really cute. You are one lovely looking lady. You are beautiful lady, Molly. Sweep your chimney, I will, I will. If you know what I mean, sweep your chimney. If you know what I mean, fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus.